During this year's QuakeCon, some pretty hefty updates for Quake and a fairly decent addition to Doom was announced and released, which is pretty cool. Along with that, a few id games are coming to Game Pass, one of the Doom games can be downloaded for free, Quake Champions finally left early access, and the Slayers Club has expanded to include the Quake and Wolfenstein franchises, which is a whole lot of stuff. Even though a new Doom or Quake game wasn't announced, we still have a surprising amount of new stuff to talk about. This is honestly the most eventful news video I've been able to make since, like, April. They did make a slight comment on the next game, but all they said is that they're hard at work and aren't ready to reveal it yet, which is very understandable. I'll be making a video discussing when the next title could be announced now that QuakeCon is off the table, so be sure to stay subbed for that. Otherwise though, let's dive into the new content. Starting with the biggest update that we received, the Classic Quake Remaster just got a new update that added new game modes, a new expansion, and even a grappling hook, which is just what Quake needed, honestly. Quake's Update 4 delivered brand new content in the form of the new multiplayer game mode, 3 wave capture the flag, and the new Rubicon 2 level expansion, and I'm really digging the content. 3 wave capture the flag honestly includes an insane amount of content, like it legit surprised me how much we have here. You can now play a fully remastered version of Quake's popular capture the flag mode across 9 unique maps with up to 8 total players. They've added 4 randomly spawning power up runes to shake up the game, and the mode includes its own unique weapon, the grappling hook. This thing is kind of like Doom Eternal's meat hook, only, well, it's almost better. You can aim this thing at most surfaces to quickly pull yourself inwards, or you can grapple onto other players to do consistent damage. You can also swap two different weapons while the hook is attached, although you can't really move while doing so. Players can use this new weapon for some pretty advanced movement tactics, but I'm not nearly skilled enough to show those off. On the single player side of things, Rubicon 2 is a new add-on that introduces three large maps with new enemies, hazards, sounds, and a lot more. I haven't been able to play a whole lot of it, but it seems pretty fun so far, and I would definitely recommend you checking it out. Moving on from Quake, Classic Doom and Doom 2 just got a new add-on in the form of Revolution. This is your typical official Bethesda version of an add-on, which honestly looks fairly decent. They released a trailer for Classic Doom alongside this, but the main focus of the trailer is the entire library of content and not just the new stuff, and I think it's extremely weird. I don't know why they would make a new trailer for stuff that's been out for years and not make one for Quake's Update 4, but it's their marketing money, so whatever works for them, I guess. Just a little bit strange to advertise the classics now instead of, like, a few years ago. Continuing the theme of classic titles, Classic Wolfenstein was just added to PC Game Pass alongside Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Quake 4, Quake Champions, and two other Bethesda titles. It's also worth mentioning that Heretic and Hexen have been added to the Microsoft Store. I know some of my audience is really into those. Doom 64 is now free for a limited time on the Epic Game Store, by the way, so if you don't have 64 and you want to try it out, then now's your chance. As a final addition to today's news video, I want to bring up that Quake Champions silently released as a full game. I genuinely have, like, no idea what this means, but it's odd that they never announced this, at least as far as I'm aware. The game is no longer listed as early access on Steam, and the banners are changed, so this could signify more future updates, which we can only hope includes a console port. Aside from ensuring that more content is coming, I don't really think that this changes much, it's just kind of an interesting thing to note. So, what did you think about all of that QuakeCon news? Are you excited to dig into all of the new content, or are you a little bit too disappointed by the lack of remasters and new games? Let me know down in the comments below. And, while you're down there, be sure to leave a like on my video and subscribe if you haven't already, but support would really mean a lot to me. It was fun and actually kinda surprising to be able to cover some QuakeCon news this year, I'm glad that we had this opportunity. Compared to what we normally get on any other average day, I would honestly kinda consider this to be some pretty massive new Doom and Quake news. There's always more Doom and Quake stuff to talk about though, so uh, stay tuned for all of that. Thank you all for watching today's video, I really hope you enjoyed the content. That's it for today, so as always, until next time.